Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Went to Yate today. That's five charity shops there. And bought two items. Both of these will require separate episodes to go through the detail. So we'll just have a quick review here and then I'll do individual um, detail videos. First thing out of the bag, a radio controlled car. I've stopped buying radio controlled cars, but I bought this one because my grandson has a particular interest in Mini Coopers. I've no idea why, but when we're out driving with him in the back of the car, every time he sees a Mini Cooper, he points it out. So I saw this and I thought I'd give it a try. £1.95, it's only a tiny little car, one of those micro cars with the charger that you sit it on and it charges it and that's also the transmitter. So that was £1.95 in Blue Cross, which is an animal charity. And then the other thing is another one of those electronic labs, or well, as it says there, 200 in 1 electronic project lab. Science Fair, £2 in St. Peter's Hospice. So I've no doubt I shall have to try and make something with it. Looks quite fancy really. Everything's there, there's no separate components, so it's just a matter of wiring it all up. It's got a rather fancy front on it. Tuning. Control. Got a meter of some sort. A, B. Code key. T1, T2, well, whatever that is. And that looks like the instruction book. Come with me to the world of NOR gates, flip-flops, transistors and LEDs. That's a little bit more advanced than the ones I've got already. So, separate episode. That'll do for now.